Good Lord. Welcome to your meditation practice. We'll begin by finding a comfortable sitting posture. Take your time to arrive. There's no rush. Make any necessary movement. Take any necessary breath to tune the mind and the body to the surface, to the present, to right here, right now. And cultivate a solid ground of complete acceptance for this next 15 to 20 minutes. Whatever comes up in this period of practice, allow it, embrace it, and then let it go. And it does not matter how many times they come back. What matters is that we continue to do our practice of Vyasa. The practice of complete acceptance. I hear you, I see you. And then vairagya, non-attachment. Let them go. Repetitive practice of shamatha, calm abiding. You're content no matter what. Whatever feelings sensations, emotions, and thoughts come to the surface. It's all good. Not suppressing, not rejecting, not grasping, just allowing.
in the attitude, the method, the solution, whatever you call it, is quite simple. All you need to do is just one thing. No matter what shows up in the mind, what shows up in front of you, in this moment of experience, all you need to do is to accept completely. Now let it go. You're not drawing labels on it. Not using the brain to logically making it make sense, trying to understand it. Not during this practice. You see it. You're aware of it. You allow it. And then you let it go. And you wait for the next thing to appear. And you do the same thing. See it. Notice it. Aware of it. And then let it go. And then wait for the next thing. You're not seeking anything, seeking for the next thing, but very contently waiting. And whatever comes up is perfectly fine. If nothing comes up, just rest in that nothingness. Allow the mind, the body, to rest. Why complete acceptance? What is accepting completely? Everything.
everyone. The different part of yourselves. The different thought you have. Everything about you. Why accepting completely? What is it? Accepting completely is compassion. It's a deep, deep kindness to yourself. And this high form of loving kindness, compassion towards yourself and heal and enlighten. You have to do it wholeheartedly. Not using the brain, not trying to make it make sense, but use a method, use the body. Relax, ground, complete acceptance. And we'll slowly take a deep inhale. Exhale, let it all go. Start to create some gentle movement. And the shoulders, arms, spine, head and neck. They were going to review the next Yoga Sutra in Chapter 1, Samadhi Pada. This is the 18th Sutra. In the 17th Sutra, we talked about Sampajnata Samadhi, which is a form of Samadhi that, that is quite profound and contains a lot of knowledge and wisdom. But the 18th Samadhi 18th Sutra is talking about Asampajnata Samadhi, which is even higher than the previous form. What's the difference? So the 18th Sutra says, Virama Pratyaya Abhyasa Purvaha Sanskara Sheshaha Anyaha. So basically, it says, by firmly convinced practice of the complete cessation of mental modifications, we usually call it mental activities, the impressions only remain. This is the other samadhi, which is asampajnata samadhi. So the sampajnata samadhi, according to Patanjali, is the seat, the samadhi with seat, the karmic seat. The Im impressions will still create a proliferation. Here, he's talking about the asampajnata samadhi, the seedless samadhi. So when you are in the state of seedless samadhi, there's no more suffering because the impressions is no longer creating new proliferations. You experience truth as it is. And you see all directions, all perspectives of an object instead of a fixed narrated view. And how to get there? 
by all the things that we mentioned in the previous sutra and the, the things that we're going to say after this sutra. There are totally 195. And one of which, which is Abhyasa Vairagya, just a few sutras ago, keep practicing and let go of the attachment of the result of the goals. Let it all go and continue your practice. So that's this 18th sutra, Asam Pujanyata Samadhi, Seedless Samadhi. Thank you for practicing with me. We'll bring the palms together, chin down. Loka Samasta Sukino Pavantu. May all beings be happy and free. May my thoughts, words, and actions can help make this happen. Namaste.